Hey guys, what's up, man? This is John from Back on the Road. Some store was getting rid of this um, storage organizer because it has like a little dent and it's in perfect condition. I'm gonna take it home. I'm gonna create a, I'm gonna make this my tool storage. The way you take this out, well, it's out here. And if you guys see this little thing here, when you open it all the way up, you get this right here. So what you do, you just pull it down. Oh, and that way this comes out there we go I'm gonna do the same thing for all of them okay i think this is the reason why they throw it out it has this tent right here so for what i need it doesn't really matter but i'm gonna try to fix it just gonna hit it with a hammer a couple of times here better than the beginning so I'm gonna leave it like that I'm gonna use 80 grit just to remove like the rust and a couple places on the sides and then I'll finish with probably with um something greater than 180 or 180 and that should be fine for to put the primer on guys right here i went like down to the metal because it has a lot of oxidation so but for the other parts i'm gonna go straight with um 180 grit or something higher just to get re get it ready for for paint but when you have a lot of like rust so right here i still gotta um do it a little more you want it to go down to to the metal because we're gonna we we need to get rid of all this rust so it doesn't happen again okay so for this this is some something glued to this but very very hard. also we gotta take this off this just pop out now take all of this off you know all these things i'll take off with the sanding paper but this we gotta take it out with the heat gun. So, there you go, there you do it. You start applying some heat. And you wanna have something like a, you wanna have like a knife or something that you could um, stick in the corner to pop it up. I don't have anything right now, so I don't want to go on step. I'm going to use this piece of cardboard to see if I can take it out. Max, you see that it's melting? This should come out. Look. Here. That's it. Come out. The rest of it, I just take it out with the with the um. I forgot English, guys. Right? <laughs> uh, with the with the sanding paper, I take this out. So it should be good. I'll do the same thing for all of them, and I'll show you next step. Okay, now I'm gonna get some soapy water, and I'm just gonna clean everything just to see. I'm not gonna be painting these parts, but. I'm gonna clean to see, you know, just throw some soapy water and start cleaning. You see, this part is good, so. You know, so we can see this. You guys see here? Now I see we have something that need a little touch up. So now that I clean it, you just sand it a little bit and when I paint everything, just throw a little bit of paint and that'll be good. Okay guys, I only have, um. 
150 and I don't have for my electric sender so I'm gonna use just a sponge right here put this right here and this is good because you could when you put pressure on it the pressure spreads so you have even pressure when you send it so this is what I'm gonna use for everything and then we start priming I just finished sending every place that I'm going to be painting. You guys see, it has the halo effect. That's okay, that's what we want. Later or tomorrow, I'm gonna come back with some alcohol and then we start applying our primer. And I'm gonna give you a tip with the primer that not a lot of people know. Uh, stay tuned, guys. So, I'm gonna use alcohol and just throw it all around the place. guys I have noticed based on my experience that when you use self etching primer when you have gone down to the metal just like right here remember that is we went down to the metal because it has some rust you use self etching primer it will make the paint bond better and then for places like this where you just um, prime I mean you just sand to put some paint on top of the paint you could use any regular primer so remember metal use self etching primer and for the rest we use regular primer so So as you guys see, I put the self etching primer on every surface that I went to the bare metal. Now when that dries, I'm gonna put my regular primer on top of everything. But that, I'll leave that for tomorrow. Okay, now I'm gonna start putting tape on the places. I don't want it to be painted like over there. And like the handle, I'm up tape all of this. Okay, so here I'm taping everything. Yeah, see, I'm gonna do the same thing for everything. Now I just wipe everything out with alcohol, and I'm gonna start applying primer. Okay, now I just put some primer on top. I'm gonna wait 10 minutes, do a second coat, and then. Wait 10 minutes and I start with the paint. And I have to do the same thing with this one. Okay, now everything got two coats. Now I'm gonna go get my paint and wait for it to dry and start applying the paint. Okay, here, this is the paint I'm using. Already with the tops right here. Just gotta do that over there. I'm gonna do two coats to everything and maybe depending how it turns out I might add some clear coat and I see look how it's looking right now this is looking okay so I'm gonna do a second coat and maybe if I have time I'll do the clear coat so here it is guys all finished it's looking good now let me show you guys let me walk you guys through here i put my all my drill attachments i got all types of screw and fasteners here i got more stuff that i have laying around and like my router stuff all here look it comes all the way out look at this that's a lot of space. Now on this one, we got circular saw. Here there's some nails for my, my nailer. Impact driver, my impact wrench. I got 
some extra blades stuff here got more power tools batteries and all types of blades here at the end I got polishers grinders hammers heat gun I have a screwdriver an electric screwdriver for like you know drywall all type of stuff my chisels you know and look look it comes all the way out I love it because you know if I need something that's buried in the back I just put it all the way out easy to access and even on the top where I have like my drill things my drill attachments all types of you know screws and stuff I love it guys so if you like if you guys like the video and the idea like comment subscribe all right till next video